we've got some news. The Liam Payne case. The photograph, the TV photograph, he smashed the TV. No, he didn't. It was fake. As we thought, we had a feeling, didn't we? The photograph was found on Facebook. It was input years ago. So it wasn't suicide, was it? So we are investigating a murder. So come on in and listen to Eldon's reviews and true crime. Yeah, evidence to me. So, yeah, it takes time, but these things are found, aren't they, online later on? It's found that it was fake. It's all fake, isn't it? So it was true. It was even a different hotel room. It wasn't the Liam Payne hotel room. We also have a book out from a previous flame of Liam's. And it's a strange book. It's completely predicting the uh, fall, the death fall from the balcony. It even shows a picture in the book. It's just bizarre. It doesn't mention him by name. It mentions him by another name. But it's all unravelling. So people are looking into that at the moment. But it's only social media that have found out this. So the authorities would have stopped there and wouldn't have bothered looking into it. It's social media that is doing this, the armchair detectives. If we'd listened to people before, we wouldn't have touched it. We'd just said, oh, horrible suicide. Awful, awful thing to happen. So he was in pain, but he wasn't quite there. Take a breather. Have a brew. What do you think? Put down in the comments what you think. Where should we go from here? Everyone needs pulling in, don't they, really? Um, they pulled in a few people, but now they've got to get serious. So they need to go right back. They need to look into the author of this book. He's written it all out. It's weird, isn't it? bizarre. So Liam was feeling really bad, but not that bad. He wasn't quite there of taking his own life. He was crying out for help. He admitted that he had ADHD. The photographs that show him uh, coming out of the lift on one of the photographs, his tattoos aren't there. They don't cover themselves very well whoever did this more news more news is roger roger didn't leave 45 minutes previous to liam's death he was there he was even said to be in the room when liam so roger did you push him did you have an argument? So the CCTV is all unraveling now, isn't it? Just one moment. Rosie again. I'm what you're horrified, aren't you, at all this? You're not really used to all this uh, uh, upset and intrigue. So was it something personal between Roger and Liam? Or was it something deeper? Was it involving the record companies we don't know yet it's kind of a bungling uh, investigation again as happens on most of these cases so uh, what do, what do you think it was uh, do you think it was uh, personal something personal and what do we think are we believing the uh, bisexual affair by the Argentinian uh, man fan friend 
was it true what he said? He said he's got taxes and uh, the authorities are looking into these taxes and exchanges by uh, between him and Liam. Has he got anything to do with it? Or is he just clearing his name? I don't know what to believe on that one. I guess we'll find out when it's unravelling. Unless the investigation is halted and stopped, as I see many times in these cases, it's just too much for them. I don't know. People paid off, money changing hands. Hmm. But it's quite big news, isn't it? So Roger didn't leave early. And the TV was an old photograph, as well as the drug paraphernalia, a little candle and everything. The toxicology report, I'm not sure what to make of that one, really. Uh, does it change? Um, did they take the first toxicology readings and then reread it? Or is it something new that's extracted from the body? Surely if it's something new extracted from the body, the drugs aren't going to show, or are they? I don't know if somebody passes. Is everything else still there? Do they need blood to run around the body, no organs to get rid of the paraphernalia, the drugs? The drugs that weren't there. The jury's out on that one, isn't it? It's just getting worse and worse and worse. I hope you're not too bad and you're not suffering from mental health. Uh, it's an issue that everyone needs to talk about. And I hope your day was well. What have you been up to? Did you get up to anything? Um, or was it just a, a lazy day? Was it a work day or a non-work day? Put down in the comments what you've been up to. If you've got anything special coming up, put it down there. Worth giving a mention, isn't it? And, uh, and if you are struggling in some ways with mental health or life, we are there for you and we do understand um, nobody should be put through that sort of thing, especially when it uh, involves th people thinking in a dark way because everything closes down, doesn't it? Everything gets dark. Not good. I don't know. Easy to give advice, isn't it, really? But when you're in that situation, it's a different type of feeling. It's, yeah, it's probably unexplainable how people feel when they're like that. I hope you find a way of breaking out of it and trying to enjoy yourself. I think ill health is a, is a big issue, isn't it? Ill health that you can't, money can't buy health as such if you've got a real problem. I mean, look at people that are struggling at the moment. Chris Hoy, top cyclist, former cyclist, cancer awful and his other half is also struggling as well and <sighs> horrible thing horrible horrible thing and anybody can can get this gain this just like that please be careful out there and don't have any nasty dreams tonight thank you for watching for now and uh, there are lots of other cases that we're going to talk about. Please stay safe. Thank you for listening.